Hello my friends. The first step that I do when I construct a dome ceiling is build a hub. This hub is the center point where all the ribs connect and the same hub can be used for different diameter of uh, arches or the dome ceiling. The arch spokes finish at two and a half inch in width and you need a hub large enough that can facilitate these spokes terminating at the hub. So the diameter of the hub is going to be about nine and a half inches across. So select a piece of uh, stock. Here I'm using three quarter inch plywood. I'm going to finish my spokes at three quarter inch thickness. So this center hub will match the thickness of the spokes. And what I'm doing here is I laid out my center point by scribing a line from corner to corner. Now I'm uh, drawing a circle from the center point at the nine and a half inch diameter. Now the block that you're using can be larger than that. You're just going to have uh, waste on the outer edges. I'm using a pair of dividers to scratch the wood. It gives you a very accurate line to work from. Set your divider to the radius of the circle and start from one of the lines of intersection and walk the divider around the circle pressing a point where each uh, tip touches. This will give you six locations. Now you need to have 12 points. So take this next line of intersection and do the same thing. Walk the dividers around the circle. This is now hitting the in-between point from what you just laid out the last time. When you finish here, this will give you uh, 12 points and you'll make that into 12 flat areas. Perfect. Now take your divider and adjust the divider to the space of two of the points on the circle. This will allow you to very easily set the roller on those two marks and then use one of the points to scratch the line between these. see that. Once you have it adjusted this way you can see that you can very rapidly uh, set the ruler and go all the way around the circle 12 different times.
Here's the finished layout and it's ready to be cut. Okay, now we need to get a reference line cut and we'll go to the chop saw. After I made my first reference cut, I'm setting my chop saw up to cut every other line. By doing this, I'm cutting my possibility of making uh, multiplying error in half. Uh, once I go around the perimeter this way, I'll have made six cuts. Then my next cut is going to be a reference cut like I did the first time. Then from that I'll go around and hit every other one and that will give me the 12 flat surfaces that I'm trying to achieve. Right here I'm setting up for my seventh cut. This is going to be the reference cut. I'm choosing a line that I can see well and you see that I have a point up against my fence and I have to hold this hub in position with the blade aligned on that line and I cut that. Now that cut is now my next reference line and now with the same setup, I can go around with five more cuts and that will finish my 12 flat surfaces. The finished tub will have 12 flat surfaces measuring approximately two and a half inches across. This is the width of your spokes that will terminate there. The hub then has to be fastened onto a backboard. This backboard is what the spokes will be nailed to. My finished hub measures 9 and 3 16 inch flat to flat. Here is the finished hub on its backboard. Thanks for watching my friends. Bye bye.